Hello Taurus, how are you? Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. This is a general reading for Taurus for the week of March 8th through the 15th. Okay, Taurus, before we got started, um, I was trying to put cards back in the wrong decks. So paying attention to what you're doing is going to be important, I think, this week. Um, slowing down, thinking about things, I think is going to be important. And then we got two cards out for you for your overall energy as well as your advice cards. The hero, and I'm going to read them, as well as the sage. This makes a lot of sense. All right, so the hero card is all about, well, it's got a couple of meanings. For me as a reader, this is, it's time to be your own hero. No longer waiting on someone else to come and rescue you. No longer waiting for someone to make decisions for you. No longer waiting for someone else in anything, but taking charge and being your own hero. So the words, the meanings for this is guardian, protector, savior, activist, honorable, integral, selfless, and honest. A person of noble qualities, ordinary people who do extraordinary acts. A person who lies cannot be trusted. Put another's well-being before your own at this time. Accord others with respect and dignity. Avoid gossip an opportunity for redemption, give a second chance. Is it altruism or wounded ego? And that can be a very confusing group of meanings here. Um, but it does mean to take courage, have courage and willingness to champion and rescue the weak and vulnerable, to stand up for others, but to be your own hero at the same time. And then we have number seven, the Sage, Major Arcana. I love this for you at this time because it does feel like things are being a bit confusing. You're not sure which way to go with something. You're not, you may not have all the answers that you're looking for at this time. So the Sage is sharing, communication, knowledge, information, culture, tradition, advice, and manipulation. Be the storyteller. Communicate your thoughts and feelings. Know your audience. Devote time to research and investigation. Learn the traditions and customs of others. Know your ancestors and heritage. Sage advice, both given and received. There is no good time to give unsolicited advice. Question your traditional reactions and responses. Do not speak so much that you forget to listen. Be wary of the smooth talker and do not embellish the truth. Okay, interesting, interesting energies and, and advice here. So things look as though they may be a little bit confusing. You don't have all the answers. It feels this week that the answers actually lie with your interactions with others. Yeah, it looks like this week your answers are going to lie with the interaction, your interactions with others, being honest with yourself and with others, and expecting only that back in return. Standing up for yourself and for others, and taking charge in a leadership role. You got pentagram, harmony, protection again, and idealism. You may be deciding it is time for you to stand up for another. Oh my gosh. And Merkaba, movement, long distance travel and excitement. I want you to notice how similar these cards are. All right. You are definitely protected this week and it feels as though you are in protective mode of those around you. Interesting, Taurus. Okay. Honoring each individual as an individual, understanding that each person has their own path, but anyone who's willing to fight for themselves 
that's being brave and trying to move forward, it looks as though you are going to be lending a hand in that. Understanding that those who lie are not being honest with themselves and therefore cannot be honest with you and allowing them their path. Interesting. Decision. Path. Ooh. So you have a decision about a fork in the road. All right. And I have a feeling you will be getting answers through your interactions with others, whether or not they realize what they're saying. You're going to be seeing which road is actually better for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I said, you're confused. You're not sure which way to go. But your interaction with others is going to help you with that. It's like, do I stay or do I move on? And your interactions this week are going to tell you exactly that. Okay, Taurus, please. Taurus. Forbidden, number 18. And 12, conclusion. There is a path that is before you that you are winding up. You are concluding a path. You're making a decision on what is no longer for you and therefore you are turning your back to something. Perhaps an individual or a situation that cannot tell the truth, that will not tell the truth. Perhaps a part of yourself where you have been lying to yourself to keep intact. Oh, that's deep. You're standing up for yourself. You're seeking your inner wisdom. You're understanding that everyone has their own path and that perhaps it's time for you to venture on your own. I feel a pulling away. Tower, you could be moving. Don't worry, we're gonna find out what that is. Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups, I'm sorry. High Priestess, beautiful. Ace of Wands, there is something coming in and it's going to be through someone else. Yeah, you're standing up, you're being your own hero this week. You're standing up for others, you're, you're, you're picking your path. You are concluding a cycle and, and you are following your intuition to do this. You could be moving. Judgment. Emperor. Three of Swords. You could be moving away and that is going to break your heart with something. It's You're moving away from, from something that no longer has growth, Taurus. You're moving away from something that no longer has growth for you. And, and you understand this. It is your judgment call. It is your judgment call to take control of a situation that, that is... is you're deciding is forbidden or or it's being decided that it has ended and there's no going back to it ace of cups oh my god yes five of cups beautiful beautiful i love this you're like but it's the five of cups you're putting your attention on yourself this is self-love that um that means that you're standing up and you are seeing the two cups that sit behind you that are still intact. This man has lost his taste for wine and he is grieving the fact that he can no longer enjoy wine. All right? That's the forbidden and the conclusion. There's something that is no longer resonating with you and you are leaving it behind. And although it is tough, it is self-love. It is a move of self-love. The magician. And because of this, you are going to have exponential growth. The wheel of fortune. And the page of wands. You are picking up the new path, Taurus. And it is going to be much better than you think. 
you have a decision to make as to whether or not to move forward down this new path. You are be being given an Ace of Wands. This Tower card is coming down and telling you it is time to move to a new location. It is time to move forward in something. You know this. This is not something that is that is coming out of the blue. This Tower card has been coming on for a very long time and you are adhering to it. You are allowing it. This is beautiful. I absolutely love this. We're going to get another card. We're going to pull one card out of this deck, see if Spirit has any more advice. It's time for you to understand situations that no longer resonate with you. Not everyone can come with us, right? Okay, you got two cards. Knight of Michael, time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotional, over emotion and sudden changes. Four of Ariel, when you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change extremes in how you spend, spend and save money. Do not be resistant to this change, Taurus. You're listening to your intuition. You know that this change is only going to benefit you in the long term. This is so hopeful. There's so much coming in that, that by doing this, by allowing this tower to fall, that you have so much more coming that you're going to look back and wonder why you didn't do it sooner. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you for now. If you got anything out of this video, do hit that thumbs up. Join us during the live. Get a free question. You know I love you. Peace to you. See you soon. Ciao.